and welcome to the program. Uh, my name is Jimmy Pardo. This is episode 1304-1304. I'm talking in a higher register here in the back of my throat, which will uh, hurt my uh, vocal cords. I'm going to bring it back down. I didn't like where I was. I was up top, and uh, I could feel it right back in here. Mm, mm, right in there. Mm, that's where it is. Mm, one, two, three. Mm. I used to do that before every... Uh, uh, because I was using too much of this for National Lampoon's Funny Money, and I was wearing out those, uh, I, I had nodes, is that what those are called? Mm-hmm. I can't think, I, I was on my mind blanking. Vocal nodes. Vocal or... cord nodes, I had those on there. So he would tell me to, uh, because I worked very hard to get rid of my Chicago accent, mm-hmm. so I was not talking like Chicago, like get, get, so I was always talking through my nose nasally, mm-hmm. worked hard to get rid of that, so then I got rid of it too much, and the guy's like, you, you're not talking through your mask enough. you got to talk through your mask. Ah. So before every uh, recording, I would have to go, mm, one, two, three, mm, one, two, three, so that I could stay here. Right. And then when it was time to speak, then even out. Bo- they'd even out, right? In, there, in the middle. The funnel. It'd be like, I don't like when you've got that, oh, which I, which I love, by the way, when you have the two, uh, the liquid plumber, mm-hmm. and you've got those two sides of liquid yes. plumbers. <laughs> They Here come they come. together. Oh, they come together to clean that drain. Do something magic. Right? You see that? Those two sides? That's exciting. I, I like the way it even looks in the bottle. That even was exciting when toothpaste had that. What was that called? Effident? Some, not uh, effident. Uh, oh, I know what you're back talking about. Back off the fucking microphone. Aqu- I'm not Aqu- kidding Aqu- around, Aqu- Elliot. You back off the microphone. That's too much already. That is too much already. You are not, and I repeat, you are not the third. You, you interject when I, you are asked to interject. You back off that microphone. I'm sorry. Thank you. Now, do you have a guess on what that toothpaste is? I don't, unfortunately. I, say, I think it's, oh, I want to say Aqua Dent, but that's aqua not right. Aqua Dent doesn't sound aqua right. Aqua Fresh, but they didn't Something have Something bright. It's not Aqua Fresh either. It's the one where you had the, you, 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 it's a pump. Yeah, it, it was, was a pump. It was a pump. It was like a, a, dis, a, a dispenser. A dispenser. Yeah, it was like a soap dispenser. And it would take up way too much space on your counter <laughs> right. for fucking toothpaste. Yeah. And it was, it, they were also on the, they, they were one of the first whitening toothpaste too. That was the whole point. Aqua Bright, did I already say that? Yeah, it's yeah. not Aqua Bright. They're like a. I don't even know what that they're, is. I think they're a 99 cent store toothpaste uh, okay. at this point. They're like a close up. I don't know. I don't know close up. You don't know close up? No. no clo- Boy, they had a nice jingle in the 70s. Hold on. I think Garen has an answer. Garen? Mentadent. 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 You press those two things yeah. down, they both join together on your toothbrush. Mentadent. Mentadent. <laughs> Look at you, freshly shorn. You got a. Yeah. You went uh, very high and very tight. Mm hmm. Uh, I saw a picture of you on Facing Book over the weekend. You were. Uh, did you have a lightsaber? What'd you have? Oh, it was a katana. <laughs> a katana is a, uh, it's a Japanese sword. Japanese sword, but which has uh, they're shaped a certain way, right? Um, I don't know. No, they're well, they're a little bit angled at the tip. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is that what you meant? Yeah, okay, katana. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ninja sword. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You ever go to Katana? They have the best stir fry. Oh, man. Those are good people. The Asians are good people. Bring out the big sword to chop it. Right? <laughs> they, they still fight with swords, right? If, you, if we go to war with China, they're going to fight us with swords, right? Sure. Right? They come, they're going to do flips. Mm-hmm. Right? They're going to attack us. They're going to do flips. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna uh, jump out of trees. You said China. You, you know the ninjas are from Japan, though, right? Pardon? <laughs> ninjas, ninjas are, are Japanese? Japanese, yeah. Listen, Chinese, Japanese, <laughs> dirty knees, I beg of you, look at these. <laughs> You know about the, you know, I'm still mad at the Chinese because of what that one guy did to my Coke. Yeah. He went pee-pee. You know why? He make joke. <laughs> I did not find it funny. I misunderstood the joke. I thought you liked comedy. I'm a professional comedian. Yeah. I don't get that joke. I turn around. There's Dr. Ken Jung taking a leak of my soda. <laughs> He's Korean, by the way. Keep that in mind. He's not even Chinese. Still, if he did that, it would be hilarious. By the way, I like Ken Jung. I think he's a good man. The doctor. Uh, he's, he's the doctor. Uh, boy, that guy, what a dude. That guy went from being a doctor to being a star. I mean, just, I mean, boom. And dessert. Yeah. It's funny. He's funny, too. Sprite commercials. Not mad at that guy. Coke? He's on everything. He's, I hope it's Coke. Yeah, that'd be I right. Remember. I mean, even though he's Korean, <laughs> damn it, that blows everything. But I hope it's Coke. I still hope it's Coke. Uh, all right, a lot going on. Let's talk. By the way, breaking news as I was coming in, A-Rod uh, is suspended. I for, heard that for as well on the way in. Uh, he's going to appeal. He's suspended for the rest of this year and all of next year. Yeah, but he's going to appeal. Right. He's going to appeal. Everybody else is being a fucking man and taking their medicine. They cheated and they're accepting. I made a mistake. They're issuing their statements. Ryan Braun's statement. Johnny Peralta's statement. I don't know what Nelly Cruz is doing. Uh, but these guys are all this fucking pussy. This cheater. Be a man, you 
fucking asshole. Well, he tried to take... This is what I was just told about by the radio. I don't know anything about this. But yeah. I was told that he tried to take the 50 games that those other guys got. Here's the thing. After, after... Here's what happened. MLB tried to negotiate with him. Yeah. And they tried for the last week. And he kept on saying, no, no, no. And basically, with the no comma, I'm A-Rod, you can't touch me. Right. You know, if you learn nothing from Lance Armstrong, you dumb son of a bitch, <laughs> just accept it. So he kept on saying, no. Yeah. He was fighting it. And then as it was getting closer and they're showing him all the evidence. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. He was like, and, oh, oh, yeah. And, but then by me. that point, they went, okay, we're done negotiating. Yeah. Then he came back and said, all right, all right I'll okay. take the 50. And they went, no, no, the window's closed. Makes sense. I just, what I what I heard was that, they were trying because he they called him a repeat offender and so that's why he wouldn't get 50 right he was actually saying you never punished me before so why but am he's I still a repeat him? offender he admitted to it before right and they didn't i i, I forget why they didn't punish because he was a good man but they're they're idiots be consistent that was the mistake if, if you're gonna you know yeah you just got to be consistent and then no one can but complain. he's still be you know he and roger clevage they think they're above the fucking game yeah you know you're a cheater they've caught you and I go back to Lance Armstrong. You know, you're now, if you just be a man and say, yeah, I did it. Yeah. You know, I screwed up. Let's get it past me. I'll take my suspension. We move on. Then people, you know, Jason Giambi, people forget. Right. You know what I mean? It's, but it's Lance Armstrong. Now, not only are you a cheater, you're good. First of all, you're good. You want this all to come out? Yeah. It's all going to come out. Right. Every piece of evidence they have, security camera footage, everything they have, you asshole. Yeah, just gonna, it just makes you look way and worse. And then you're an ass, and then everybody hates you the way they hate Lance Armstrong. Everyone already hated him. He's a not likable. He's a not likable. <laughs> not, you're not wrong, but now they now it's that now they really now they have reason. Right. What an arrogant motherfucker. Take your medicine. He did. Johnny Peralta's a he did take his medicine. Elliot, a very nice piece of business. Is that our guy here? Yep. All right, let him in for Christ's sake. We'll have him sit over there on the couch for the first couple of minutes. He understands how the show works. Uh, Oscar Nunez will be joining us in a little bit. He's from the office. I don't know what he's doing now. Um, probably hoping for a convention, an office convention or something like that. I don't mm. know what do. All right, a couple things of business. And then, you know, we can bring Oscar in early and and because uh, I got three things to talk about, three fun things. Mm -hmm. But first and foremost, you put this on my chair as I arrived here today. Yeah. This is the uh, the Never Not Funny bag. If you've not already subscribing, I, well, they, they would... They wouldn't see this necessarily, right? How does this work? What do you mean see it? If if somebody is not an official subscriber yet, yeah, are they hearing this? They could see this on. Oh, that's one of the things I wanted to mention because I don't think I think a lot of people don't know that there is now a vi a free video feed on our YouTube channel. All right, so on our YouTube channel, there's now a free video feed. You can watch the same the same thing you get in the free audio feed. You can get the video of that at uh, YouTube.com/podcast. If you subscribe, but you just uh, you every time a new thing posts, you get it. I love it. Okay, well, so they are seeing this then. They are seeing. All right, this. well, this is the uh, what well, this was the low end, the forty nine ninety nine, the gold package, or the totes. elite. Yeah, you get this along with that T-shirt. Yep. Uh, that's the NNF uh, tote bag. This is really come on, Oscar. Sit down over there and be a gentleman. Uh, you probably want to do more push-ups. Those arms look terrific today. Look at Oscar Nunez's arms. Sweet mother of God, he's probably out gardening as the Hispanic does. Uh, what are they? Baby. Oh, baby crows. Got a little baby. We'll talk about it. And anyway, uh, here's the uh, look at the gusset. I told you. You weren't kidding. What does this come in at? Seven point five. Woo! <laughs> Look at the gusset on it. This is a nice bag. Yeah. This is the best bag we've ever had. We've had bags before. It, this is, it comes with a tag on it. It's so nice. Like, that's something that you don't get Simple on Simple ideas, big impacts. You're right. This is not something you get with a chintz bag. No. This is an eco bag. This is a recycled cotton canvas. This is a fair wage, fair labor. Yeah. I never know what that means. What does that mean? I guess it just means that the children aren't sewing them in Cambodia or something. You know what? Put the kids to work. <laughs> You know what I mean? What, I mean, what you, else are you they? You'd rather gonna, they do it. Well, what else are they going to be doing? I mean, are they going to be going to the street, to and hustling, sucking dick for money? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I mean, if they're in that kind of a land, where wouldn't you rather they be in a factory making a couple bucks, making you a nice bag? Not if it cripples them permanently. No, I, I think that's. I don't know. You want them selling themselves? No. If that's if those are my those only, are options, only two then options, no. I, then those no. are your two options. You I go, don't know why those the are my child, only options. The child, uh, the male, female, they go into prostitution, mm. or they make you a bag. Which one do you want in on? Uh, can I add a third thing? Sneakers, because I'd, I'd love some new sneakers. Listen, it's all in the same factory. <laughs> oh, got, it's all one you factory? Got bag, you got bag, Super you got, factory. You got the bag department, you got the shoe department. <laughs> okay. You got the, I'll you, take the you shoes. You got the shirts that you buy at a Meyer. Uh, all right, anyway, this is a terrific, <laughs> never not funny. This is, look at this, it's got gusset. Look at the seven inches of gusset. I'm not kidding. At the risk of, I, I'm, not whenever I do 
Now this it's like you, you tie glasses. You can't, glasses yeah, you, you can't help. But it, but it, 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 how do you know? I mean, look at that's gusset. You can put we can put books books in here. I I've tried. I've, I've oh. tested it out. You can put a cereal box with ways in that bag. That's how big this the gusset is. This is a beautiful bag, man. This is a great bag for Target. You go to Target. You say to them, "I brought my own bag." You save a nickel, <laughs> right? And then they put in there those assholes. By the way, the kid yesterday at Target. Uh, we brought our own bags, and he puts three items in each bag. You're stuck. Fuck. Put the stuff in the Stack bag. Up, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I brought these so not, so I don't use new ones, you mm -hmm. dumbass. I'm so mad at A-Rod. I'm taking it on in the Target kid. It but, sounds like it. But it angered me. It angered me. Look at how tall that is, too, Matt. Yeah. This is a great bag. So but I guess we should mention, even if you've already subscribed, you can upgrade to the gold package. It's another 25 bucks if, All right. you, if you want the bag. All right, you deal with that hassle. You deal I just with, did. I know, but I mean, you deal with them <laughs> emailing you or putting on Facebook that they don't understand how this show works. Okay. Um, so, sounds like you're dealing with it. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I'm getting emailed. Hey, I'm having trouble with my episode. Jimmy, a fan club, uh, fan club at jimmyvarda.com. Hey, my episode. How clear do we need to make it? You, you, you like to talk about how you're running this this empire, and then it turns out you're just the face of it. You're the <laughs> you're honcho. Really as I've, as I, I, I'm working on another project where I, I say to the other gentleman, uh, I say, uh, you're Albert Brooks. I'm William Hurt. I'm the face, man. Mm -hmm. You do it, I'll say it. Let's go. Are you gonna? So you're gonna cry on cue? Yeah, I'm a pretty good crier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a phony. Is what I'm trying to say. Look at that bag. That's a beautiful bag. Sweet yeah. Jesus, is that nice? That is a nice bag. We don't have the shirts in hand yet. They're on on route. I guess uh, we, should, we could also tell people that these bags and and your shirts for my brother, those will start showing up this week. Okay. If you haven't already oh, gotten Jesus it. Jesus Christ, this is a nice bag. <laughs> I mean, this really has some substance to it. This is a beautiful bag. Oscar, what do you think of that bag from a distance? You're not officially on. It looks on. very sturdy. Take a look at that. Feel that. Grab that. Nice. Imagine, imagine how many vegetables you could put in that, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, uh, this might not. That's good. Oh, that's good. It's working. Look at that. Look at that. It's working. See this? Look at that bag. <laughs> See, he gets it. Oscar Nunez gets it. You could not do it. that with our old bag. No, no, it would have broken Those the handles. second he... The se me throwing it to Oscar would have broken the old bag. <laughs> but, but it's soft, administrator. <laughs> oh, thank it's you. Soft. All right. Th thank you. Oscar Nunez, back to your seat, Oscar. Sturdy yet soft. Did a great job. Uh-oh, this uh, fell off, though. Is that going to affect it? Is that going to affect subscriptions? Uh, no, and that's... That bag I'm keeping is, this one. It's yours to keep. Oh, I get to keep one? Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a good deal, considering I'm the face of the goddamn program. Anyway, Oscar just showed you guys this bag is sturdy. You're not going to see that on QVC. You're not going to see a situation comedy star roll over in his back turtle style <laughs> and kick his legs up to <laughs> prove how a, strong a bag is. Yeah, Look funny. at that gusset. That shows how much gusset he's got in his feet. Yeah, he had two feet in that gusset right. at the same time. Side by side, not not one no, in front of the other. No, no, no. He's not going... Uh, so these other bags, you have to go uh, whatever that's called. You, know, you got to go... Room to spare. We've just heard from Oscar. You're right. We could not tell from our end. I Room think you could get I, Jimmy's feet and Oscar's feet could probably all four of them could get in that bag at the same There's time. There's no doubt about it. We could probably. You think two guys could sit in here? Could, well, not we sitting can't, in. Can't sit in. You could stand in it. You think two guys could stand in this? I do, and I want to see that happen at some point. Go on, Oscar. It sounds like it's going to happen right now. <laughs> Although length, how how big are your feet, know. Oscar? No, it can't happen. No, you know what I think? No, all right. Yeah. Wait, 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 this wait, has wait, backfired. Wait, this, is this, is <laughs> this has backfired. Now it's not. You know what? We can go three feet. This is still coming. Three feet. Three feet. That's three good feet. Enough. All right. Three feet is very good. Right? That's still a win, right, Oscar? Yeah, that's <laughs> all right. Oscar Nunez will be joining us in just a minute. We're going to close up uh, this segment. Thank you, Oscar. You're doing a great job. We got a bag for Oscar? He is, we do. He deserves one after we all do, that. We do, yeah. Absolutely. All right. we'll give Oscar a bag. Oscar Nunez will be joining us in just a half a second. He got here early, right? Is he early or we started late? Um, he was kind of right on slightly time. early, and uh, we're slightly He's late. He's a professional. Uh, you know, he, he drove here, he did his thing, and uh, he, I don't know what that means. Uh, all right, a couple his things. thing involves kicking bags. <laughs> all right, before we, no, you know what, all right, yeah, before we get Oscar, I got two, I got three terrific stories to tell. Okay. Uh, one is, uh, uh, two of them, I, I, I have no problem with Oscar being on, the, on board, but let's do a celebrity sighting before we bring Oscar into the mix. Let's play it as a game. Celebrity sighting. We'll play it as a game. Celebrity sighting. Oscar, you're better welcome to play from over there. Okay. You're not officially on the show yet. I know you've been involved a lot, <laughs> and, and I appreciate you jumping into the bag stuff. You know, and I love having you here. You know that. You're one of my favorite people on the I planet. I know the format, so I'm sitting, and when I, you need me, if not, I'm just here. Okay. <laughs> you know, you're talking now, though. You understand that, that that's uh, going against what we, uh, while you're 
uh, playing along with the format. Actually shattering the format. You are, yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was Lip, incredibly loud. Little Pinocchio. <laughs> Oscar, Oscar and I just did. A, we did a, a a pilot presentation uh, where I, I, I Oscar's playing a, a a sort of a mob guy, right? Your mob guy. They just, it wasn't bad. Have you seen it? Yeah, it looked good. Yeah, okay, good. And you, uh, he plays a mob guy, and I play like his. Uh, I play his attorney who wants to be a mob guy. And uh, if we took, if we did ten takes, it was because I couldn't stop laughing for eight of the ten. I would just blurt laughter in his face <laughs> because he would do a different take every time like a professional actor does. Not me, but I'm just grateful I can remember my goddamn lines and uh, hope to God they don't fire me mid-sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, you know, he's, he's able to experiment. He's able to... And every choice was funnier than next. And uh, he's a terrific actor. <laughs> you know, I like that guy. <laughs> come come on, get out of here. Uh, all right, so here's... All right, celebrity sighting. Celebrity sighting, guys. It's a man. It's a man. It's a man. Uh, well, tell us, give us something. Like, well, where you got to ask. You got to ask. Tell us where you were. At least I don't. I was at a park in Culver City. A park in Culver City. I was seeing a uh, Shakespearean play. You got to go. You got to bring Zoe. Mm. This is the greatest. It is superheroes doing Twelfth Night. Nice. Oh, that's last fun. summer they did uh, Star, Star Wars. Wars doing the Tempest. Mm -hmm. Wow. It is fantastic. We saw our friend Andy Daly there with his beautiful family. I have a guess. Andy Daly. <laughs> nope. Not Andy either. Daly was standing next to me when this happened. Okay. I had this an interaction. I, I, in I, I interacted with said celebrity. And, uh, and, and, the, I know, and then uh, Andy and my wife ended up talking to him for a long period of time. I had oh. to go for my four mile run because I'm training, of course, for that half marathon. Which, by the way, I'm doing uh, a listener. Uh, yeah. His wife is involved with the, uh, God, it's the, the animal thing. ASPCA, is that what it is? I forget, AS, but it's the rock and roll. It's the Halloween rock and roll. Uh, rock and run. Rock and but run. It's, so. But it's the, it's the whatever the pets are. ASPCA? That so, sound right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's they're the sponsor, they're the beneficiary of uh, of it or whatever it is and uh on October the 27th I'm going to be running the half marathon and just coincidentally Matt mm -hmm. um my iPhone training uh thing had me doing it on the 26th. Yeah. Coincidentally my training sessions were going to get me to You're the 26th. You're working your way up to it with this app. With this app. And it just so happens that this marathon it happens on that same weekend. Yeah. So then I just do it on the 27th instead Boom. of the 26th. And I participate in this half marathon. It, I just checked. It is the ASPCA. ASPCA. They're a terrific organization. And they got a website and everything. And, you know, people can, uh, you're more than welcome to run. Mm -hmm. uh, not with me. I'm not running with any of you. You understand me? <laughs> you can, I, if I see you, I will nod. I'll probably be wearing my Never Not Funny hat. I will nod to you. I will have my sunglasses on. But this is. I will have my, probably be listening to some Phil Hendry uh, on my phone for the two hour run. And um, this is one of those things because it's Halloween people run in costume yeah so i think you should just wear a mask so no one recognizes you otherwise I, I, it's just going to be a mob a i mean <laughs> you're never going to get away from like, the fans I, i'll be honest i don't mind people recognize me i just don't want to talk or deal with them I, do you think someone would try to talk to engage you while you're running a half marathon well I'm, then i'm tripping that guy <laughs> then you know what i'm doing i'm pulling a breaking away where i'm gonna take out a, a an air pump from my uh, downpipe, that's not what that's called. I take off the air pump and then I put it between his legs and then that son of a bitch trips. Mm -hmm. By the way, that's the other thing. Any listener, you try to pass me on this race, you're going down, <laughs> all right? Of uh, the never, the team never not funny, I win. You understand? I don't care if I win by .0001 second. But Daddy wins, you understand? Mm -hmm. I don't care if Minute Bull, he's not a runner. I don't care <laughs> if, uh, who's that fast guy? Who's the name I'm thinking of? Oh, uh, Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt. That fella, I don't care if it's him. Uh, you you fall back. You understand me? What are you What are you writing now? You said something that would be good for the opening next year, <laughs> next w season. What did I say? Uh, Daddy wins or something. I don't even remember oh, what right, it was. Do you want a smaller piece of paper? Uh, that'd be great. Yeah, if, if you can find something that is less convenient than this. All right, here we go. Celebrity sighting. Anyway, uh, go to this website, this Rock and Run, October 27th here in Los Angeles, downtown LA. I think it starts at 7:30. You're done by 9:30. If you you know, yeah, probably nine, maybe 10 o'clock. Right? You run around, you put your costume on. The, the website is runrockroll.competitor.com oh, slash Los Dash Angeles. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> Google S Rock and Run. Couldn't October be simpler, 27th. guys. <laughs> Just runrockandroll.competitor.com slash Los Dash Angeles. I repeat Google Half Marathon. Okay. Rock and Run October 27th. 
All right, here we go. Quickly, and then we'll bring Oscar to the Okay, yeah, okay. So Celebrity sighting. I, mean, I have a guess of initials. Okay. Yeah, but you might know because you know. because you know the answer. You know it now. I think so. So you're out. Can He's, I say the No, the you're out. Is it someone who's known for being a Shakespeare, an actor who... So you know who it is? No, I'm, I'm guessing yeah. Al Pacino. No. Oh, okay. Can I say my initials now? Kenneth Branagh? What, what, give me the first name yes. initial. T. What? T. Yeah. Okay. T, T knows who it is. T. Yeah. Mr. T? T? Yeah. He was there, he was was there last year. Who was that? He was at the Star Wars last year. He was? Yeah. Well, he's involved with this company. Mm -hmm. It's his company. Oh. Okay. T. T what? T. T what? T. T-Rex. T, what's the name? It's Mark Bowling. <laughs> it's, uh, initials are T-R. 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 Actor. Known for movies. Movies. Not television. Tim Robinson. Nope. <laughs> oh, but, but you're close. Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. Huh. Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. Now, here's why I bring this up. I want you to be... Oscar, more acting for you. You're going to be Tim Robbins. Okay. All right. So, uh, so get why, whatever you got to do, Elliot. You're Andy Daly. Do you want him on mic? Should we nope. just bring him in? No, because okay. I, he could, no, because he's got to be on his feet. He's got to be on his feet. Okay. Oh. Uh, go in? What's that? Go, yeah, go, go. You're going to come into me. You don't say anything. You try to hit... Here, here, prop, prop. You're handing out flyers because you're doing uh, some other show. I forget what show he's doing. Was he really handing out flyers? Yeah, he's handing out flyers. Tim Robbins is handing out flyers <laughs> and <laughs> signing people up for the uh, for the mailing list for his uh, acting. I loved it. Wow. He's out there at uh, 10, uh, 10, 30, 11 in the morning right. handing out flyers. And be, it couldn't have been more cordial. But, but here's the thing. I don't know it's him yet. <laughs> I'm having a conversation with Andy Daly. Okay. You'll come up and try to hand me. So, uh, so what do you got? When's the Comedy Central thing going to be coming uh, I think it's early next year. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And then I go back to the conversation. And does Andy and notice? He walks away. He walks away. He, wa he walks away. And Andy goes, you know, that's American actor, uh, Tim Robbins. <laughs> and I went, oh, you mean the guy that I just shoot away like he's a homeless guy begging me for money? He goes, yes. He goes, I couldn't believe how rude you were. Because I literally was like, I because you know what? There's other people handing out the flyer. Right. It's like, I, I got tired of being handed flyers. Mm -hmm. So then here comes Tim. And listen, he's just another human being. But it was just so funny that I still, nah, like, eh. <laughs> Get out! Leave me alone! I'm talking to Andy Daly. But you didn't. You didn't see his reaction because you didn't even look his way. Didn't even. No, didn't even look his way. I would love to know what his reaction to that was. Uh, probably. I don't know. Possibly respect you more. I would say so. I think he respects me more. Yeah. I think he likes the fact that I'm not sucking up to him the way Andy Daly, my wife, did the second that this uh, ended. <laughs> Andy Daly's parents started talking to Tim Robbins, and then Andy uh, jumped in so that nothing uh, uncomfortable right. happened. <laughs> Trying to defuse the situation. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and, then I, and by that point, by the way, I was out. My wife was in, and they were all talking. And then my wife later said that he could not have been a nicer guy. They were talking about, uh, you know, show business, and he couldn't have been nicer. He's trying to uh, put a hard sell on them to come and see the show. From what I understand, what's the show? I forget. It's give him a little plug. You didn't take his the, flyer. At least give him a plug. The Actors Group, or whatever they're called. The Actors Group. Actors, actors Gang. gang. Yeah. Actors Gang. Yeah. Actors Gang. Actors Gang. They're in Culver City. Uh, Garen, what show are they doing? Uh, let's see. It's not Midsummer Night's Dream. It's not Twelfth Night. It's not uh, Hamlet. They just. It's not. They just, it's not a fast website. They just finished. <laughs> I, I, I think they just Midsummer finished Heart of Dream. Darkness. Was the last one they did, I believe. What? Was there a meeting that I was not privy to? Was there a meeting before I got here? I recognized I was late. I was having a conversation with my father on my cellular telephone. Was there a meeting today that uh, you guys just said it's cool for Elliot to talk whenever he wants to? Did that meeting happen when I was That would never happen. <laughs> if anything, I was counting the minutes until you got here so that I could stop <laughs> <laughs> listening to his mouth. Wow. <laughs> we got it. Can, Elliot, can I make fun of you for 10 seconds? Of course. You said, Elliot sent an email this past week where, I won't give the details, though. You said, Here, uh, hey, here's the guy I was talking about. And I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and so I, I texted Matt. I go, I go, did Elliot mean to send this to me? I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And Matt wrote back, neither do I. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, right, is that what you said? I, I, what did you say? I might have it here. I, I actually I might have know. it. I don't know what I've said. I, I might have it. Uh, who are you? You're... Uh, you're Matt, right? Matt, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, here it is. Uh, oh, I said, oh, I wrote, I have no idea what the fuck Elliot's email is about. He wrote, me neither. I vaguely recall him mentioning the guy, but I don't know the context. Me, <laughs> Elliot, please, just so you know. All right. I said this for humor, even in the thing. Sure. Me neither, and I fear asking him will make it apparent that I never listened to him. <laughs> What did I say? I can't. Come okay. on. I don't, I don't even remember, but I, I think that's where I said something funny. You, you want me to say it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
And what I, I must have just said something like, I think that's already apparent. Yeah, something, something like that. that. Yeah, like, yeah, like it's, yeah, it's obvious you don't, yeah, you asshole. Uh, yeah, the was, cat's out of the bag on that one. Uh, all right, what's, what's the name of the show? Then we're going to take a break. A Midsummer Night's Dream. A Midsummer Night's Dream. So I was right. Yeah. I, uh, so yeah, they're doing that. They always do this. They right. always do this. Right, it's yeah. that one. It's that one. It's uh, the Hamlet. There's the King the Lear. Campus, uh, this it's, right, that's the same four. It's the crowd pleasers, right? People, uh, people, people like it. Yeah. And I'm, listen, I, if it makes me sound like some jackass from the south side of Chicago, I'll say it. I can't sit through a Shakespeare show. I remember you saying, I think you, we talked about this maybe the first year of this show. I remember in being in your dining room and you saying that. I just, I just. It's boring. It's boring. I want to get it. I, I, I'm with you. You're with me, Oscar? I, I want to get it. I'm like, oh. You know what's not boring? Them doing it dressed up like superheroes for children. Man, that was great. But it's still the same dialogue. They, they added simplified. some, some uh, it, it was uh, Culveropolis. Mm-hmm. Was the name of the uh, you know then you know so the, but it's the same it's the storyline mm-hmm. of Twelfth Night but done right. you know Batgirl dresses up as Batman to try to get to somebody's favor yeah. the Hulk scene then they they got current songs in there they do some dancing they did the Gangnam style which the kids went crazy I liked it mm-hmm. it was great we really enjoyed Sounds ourselves like uh, I think they do it every Saturday if you want to bring uh, yeah Zoe over to uh, check do. that out or if you're an adult and you want to go do it alright let's take a break we'll be back Oscar Nunez as you know is here he's from the office we're glad he's taking time out of uh, I don't know what he's doing these days probably signing autographs as he walks down the street uh, it's got to be convenient to have the same name as your character right hey Oscar and then you know they're talking to you yeah you know but you don't know if they know you or they just started the show yeah so that's a little confusing until you see their face and you know that you don't, you don't know, know. Them. Right then, right then you you keep walking, right? I keep walking. Yeah, boy, that's the way. A lot it. of what's happened in this segment probably would have been better served to have him in front of a microphone. I prefer him yelling from the <laughs> you side. Like that? We you're like interviewing him across the room. You know what, fellas? I'm comfortable here. I'm not okay, going over there. Right. <laughs> that sounds good. I think I think the listeners will really appreciate this <laughs> choice that we're making. Garrett, head of your microphone, and he just talks from over there. Can you even hear me? I'm barely, I'm barely. Really sure I listen to the show. I know you do. You're a fan. I want to go that far, but I listen to the show. Whoa, now that's... Listen to the show. You want me to pull up an email? Uh, you yeah. want me to disprove you? You want me to yes and you in a negative way? No, it's fine. Which basically is negating? I'm a big fan. I know you are, and, and I you, sir. Uh, all right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll go around the horn. Uh, we, I got the two other pieces of nonsense. I need that prop back, uh, Oscar. Sure. That prop has some uh, things on it for me. Uh, all right, we'll be back. Episode 1304. Uh, guess it! Hey, did you know Never Not Funny has a YouTube channel? You can see the free feed video at that channel. Go to youtube.com slash podcast. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and you can get all those free videos. Also, great clips that you can share with uh, your friends, people who might not know about Never Not Funny. Check out uh, the Paul F. Tompkins Tide commercial that he did. It's a lot of great stuff there, so check it out, youtube.com slash podcast. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the program, episode 1304. My name is Jimmy Pardo. What, Matt, what's going on with my headphones? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there, we go. there we go. Yeah, I got to hear me. I got to hear gotta hear daddy's tones. Uh, all right, let's go around the room. We got stuff to talk about. Uh, got a couple of fun stories that I think people are going to uh, get a charge out of. I know Oscar's going to uh, certainly have his opinion on these sort of things. You know, we get, uh, you know, that's what's great about when you have a guy like Oscar in here. You get, you get all walks of life. You get... Uh, you know, you get different colors coming in to make the rainbow. You get different types of, fla- you get different flavors, different point of views. You get the homosexual input, mm-hmm. right? You get the Hispanic input. You get the straight, normal for, guy. For audio listeners, you pointed, Oscar himself is not a gay man. He, no, no, I pointed he, to Oscar. He, he was played Hispanic. a gay man on That's a television true. Thank show. you for clearing that up. A little confusing. I pointed to Hispanic. When I said Hispanic to the homosexual, I pointed to Garen. Right. Uh, bland white guy pointed to Thank you. you. <laughs> uh, annoying guy you want to get, get away from at the party. <laughs> What we do is, Elliot, we get all sorts of different Hot-headed players. Italian-American. Right. Good guy, fun to be around, that sort of thing. We get all different takes Tem- around here. Temperamental. Right, you know, fun guy, all different takes. You know what I'm saying? Like, good, good guy, hey, Jimmy's here, that type of thing. Uh, you know what I mean? You're there. Hey, Matt's here. Uh, is it a contractual obligation? Why are we here? Why do you, because you want to do this or because you have to? Well, it's want and have. Okay. Right? I have to do it because, yes, people pay me to, to do this. It's a win-win and you promised me a tote. Yeah, you're going to get tote back. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, there's no not, problem about it. Not the one that I stunk up with my feet. <laughs> no, no, I'm stuck with that thing. I want the one. I know, you were squishing grapes before you came here, and now i got to be stuck with that in my gusset. It don't tell people my business. I don't know what you do. I know you, you, I, the, the TV show ended. you got to make, make ends meet. You know darn well, I was up at 3 a.m. today, and I was squishing grapes till about 5.30 <laughs> That's a two-and-a-half-hour process? And Matt's laughing. That's racist, Matt. I have to make a living. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I, it's well. Being, I've done nothing since the office. Why would you? I'm here. Relax. 
What? What do you mean relax? I've got a kid. You made money. You're in syndication. You're fine. Relax. Yeah. I, you know, you'll get another job. You're a terrific, funny actor. There's I'm, no question about it. I'm Latino. You know how this town works. Yeah, we don't care for you. I know. I know. I mean, we're taking a big chance having you on this show. And I appreciate that. Oscar may have been our first Hispanic, right? Back on Park Caspathon 09. I don't know where this is going. What do you mean? You brought it up or you're goddamn I'm Hispanic. I can't be your first Hispanic. Caliente. No. Yes. I How think many years have you been doing this show? Al Madrigal's been on. You had Rosie Perez back in 1982. <laughs> That's true. I distinctly... You're right. I apologize. She was talking about her bubble. Yeah. You ever see that movie? That uh, The movie is... it uh... With the lottery ticket? Which one? Uh, Bri- is it Bridges? Who's the guy? He's allergic. They're in a plane crash. Oh, Fearless. Oh, Fearless. fearless. Yeah. But she keeps talking about her baby, the nickname Bubble, but yeah. because Rosie Perez cannot... Is it, it is Rosie Perez, right? I think so, yeah. Hey, but my bubble, my bubble. And it's yeah. like I wanted to rush and rip the screen apart. It was a very dramatic scene. And for you to make light of it, she lost the, da- she, the baby. She and the, tried to hold on as tight as she could. Come on, Matt. They and put then in the car and she held the toolbox. Put the toolbox. So mm-hmm. great. That's a great movie. <laughs> right? You think that's you a great movie? When they oh, yeah, yeah. Car? You think that's a great movie? I do think oh, that's a great God. movie, yeah. Because it was one of the first movies that showed that slow motion airplane crash that's so creepy and compelling that everyone's doing now. Like, yeah. when the plane crashes, and they slow everything down to super slow motion. Yeah. Oh, it's terrifying. Would you have liked it with a different actress? It turns out, I think you guys like it already. I, I like I, it. I read for that part, and they went with a female. <laughs> <laughs> they were looking for Latino. They weren't specific. And, right. And so I... I don't know. You have a problem with her. I can. I, I I'm feel. not. I'm not. I don't understand when she's speaking. You don't like her accent, or her voice. But that's fancy. It's from the. It's from down the block. It's from New York. <laughs> it, people go like that. It's say a, bubble in that character. Bubble. Yeah. See, it's awful. But why, why would can, they make why her say Fran, that? Why do we find Fran Drescher good, and then the <laughs> Hispanic one can't do it? It's the same thing. I don't like Fran Drescher either. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, At least you're, you're consistent. You're consistent. Find her sexy for a lot of years, Fran Drescher. Didn't you? I found Rosie Perez sexy. <sighs> yeah, me too. I got no problem. Bend over. No. What? Wow. What's up? What happened? What happened? So what? Did that go in a direction nobody expected, except maybe Garen? <laughs> I, you know what? They're both sexy women. They are. But the accents, oh boy. Yeah. It's yeah, hard to take. I did. That's weird that you brought that up, though, because I, I was thinking about that movie when I just flew uh, back east with uh, with my baby, and uh, we had him in the lap. And um, and so I thought about that movie. But the, the one thing I thought of is, why didn't she put her seatbelt around both of them? Would you have done that? Yes, but probably just because of that movie. I don't know if I would have thought of it if I hadn't seen that movie, but mm. isn't that your, like, if you're like, you know, you're, there's a point in time when you're like, you know, the plane is going down. You're just holding a child in your lap. Put that strap around him. See what happens. Maybe it helps. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know, but it's better than not doing it, right? But to, Matt, you're, to have the wherewithal to do that, I mean, you're losing your shit when that plane, you know, to, yeah. to think clearly like but that. But when your like, instinct to be to protect the child as much as you well, can. She, she did. She did the best she, she could. She, she just held on to him with her arms. When you hold on tight, don't let go. Yes, and get the belt over There's him. no oh, time. Plane's going no. down. Hindsight's twenty twenty, Matt. Yeah. You, you want to do that. I know you're, you're thinking that you would do that. She didn't even mention it after the fact. That's what's interesting. In the movie, she didn't go, if only I had put the belt that around That was him. an outtake. If you watch the DVD <laughs> outtakes, which they had a scene where she's like, really I shouldn't should. have put the belt around the baby. <laughs> and about my bubble. Is it Jeff Bridges? Who is the other fellow? It's Jeff Bridges. Yeah. He cracks up during that scene. I love the outtakes from that movie. The <laughs> way that he just laughs at her, man. It mm-hmm. is so funny. It really is. And then he slaps, like Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise, he slaps her in the face every time she screws up. Like, <laughs> slaps her. It is so it's funny. So it's funny. a heavy movie, but they had fun shooting. Oh, they sure did. They enjoyed <laughs> a lot themselves. of laughs. Yeah, slap. You got to release the the stress. Of there it. was a lot of people were upset because he was slapping a lady, but he was. Like, we're on, once we're on set, we're just actors, and they go way back. They do. There's, you know that you're from show business. There's history. I am from show business. There's a lot of history between those two that people don't know about. Okay, you you know how do you know about it, Oscar? I'm in the Latino club. Okay, and Rosie, <laughs> as well as Charo. What? I'm 82 <laughs> years old now. <laughs> Um, Charo's there. Charo's in the Latino. Does she club. entertain? Does she pull out that guitar and entertain? She's, she did she pass away? Are we? No, she's still around. There's no way Charo. She dead. was a lovely flamenco guitar player. She's an amazing. Guitar and player. she would get serious. She would go on Johnny Carson, and she'd be the clown, and then she'd whip out the guitar, and she'd change, and then she would. She was a terrific. She was like Esteban. Terrific. She was the female Esteban. Terrific entertainer, Esteban. Esteban's that guy that can teach you how to play guitar in twelve minutes or whatever. Those infomercials. Oh, do you have? Oh, okay. That's my know. favorite Pat Francis joke of all time. You know, who, oh. ask me who my favorite guitarist is. Go ahead, ask me. <laughs> Who's your favorite guitarist? Esteban. 
<laughs> it's a great, it's great. That's a great he, joke. He made me laugh. I, I, I think I did a, one of five in my lifetime spit takes at that joke. You have to know who has to know. Yeah. Thank you, Matt, because <laughs> I'm like, but I, I know who it was. As so, long as you know, that is a great joke. Yeah. But I think he also, I think he also like uh, set the like. He asked me who, who, who would you say your favorite director? Like, I don't know. I, you know, I think Lindsey Buckingham live. <laughs> sure. Like I'm in a conversation. Like, <laughs> what, what about you, Esteban? <laughs> Boom. He Boom. Got he got you. Right. He reeled in like a big mackerel. Like a dumb fucking idiot. Me. <laughs> is Charo alive or dead? Oh my gosh. Charo is alive. She's 62 years old. 62? Prove She's it. not even that old. She's, She's young. She's young. She's up in Malibu. Would you have guessed 80s? I would. I think so. Yeah. yeah. She can't be 62. There's no way she's younger she's than my lying. mother. She's January lying. January 15th, 1951. She does not look 71, good. 81, 91, 01, 11. Oh no, that's 62. <laughs> Do you have a current photograph of Charo? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Can I take a look? I'd like to take a look at that. Remember that she was on The Surreal Life? Is that what that show was called? Was she on The Surreal Life? Yeah, not the one that you did that nah, thing for. No, that was God damn it. That's, you're making old. Did you old, see that? Yeah, I did. It was, it was horrible. I'm an idiot. Hey, speaking of which, before I get too far away, went to, uh, my wife and I went to see Judy Gold's one-person show last night. How was oh, it? Oh, good. Loved it. Great. Loved it. Laughed like crazy. Cool. Really funny. She's really... funny. Oh. She does a really funny bit I love. She goes, my, you know, she talks about her mother a lot. Yeah. And they're in the car, and she has the kid with her, and the mother's like, what color is this? And the kid's like, red. And what color is this? Blue. What color is this? Green. And the kid got all the colors, and, and her mother goes, huh. At least we know he's not colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> really, Ma? That's what you take that's away. That's what you take away. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a, a Judith. God, it's so funny. It's a great show. If you're in here in the lobby, Garrett, when do you get a chance? Uh, all right, let's go around the room. Yeah. I could have let's sketched Charo by now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of your hidden talents? Are oh, yeah. you a good sketch artist? I, I really am. You're a good sketch performer. Uh, I'm okay. He's yeah. okay. Right. You're a good sketch performer. That was very nice. Yeah. nice Thank work. you. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. I'm better sketch performer than the sketch artist. Okay. Oh, yeah, but that's a, that's all right. You're not known for your sketch. Is it, Jimmy? Artistry. Is it? I don't know. I don't know what depends. On. Wait, this is this is current. Yeah. You know what? She looks good for 62. Ooh, let me see. I mean, she looks. You know, you know, she looks like Latoya Jackson. Brown don't that's frown. That's what I was going to say. That's what she looked like. Latoya <laughs> I just think it's the plastic surgery that makes her look. Yeah. Doesn't it look like Latoya Jackson? She looks wacky. Yes, she does look like. Latoya. But she always has. She always. She's not. She, uh, she's not classically attractive. She's. Uh, <laughs> Well, oh, I'm she not looks, saying. I bet she was. She looks great for 62. I, well, I mean, she's had some work done. Let's not uh, let's not kid ourselves. That's what I think but it is. Who hasn't? She's you know she's she's. It's maintenance. We're all Bentleys, man. It's, we're all Bentleys. If you need to go in for some maintenance from time to time, you do it. Don't say we're all Bentleys like it's a thing that we all should yeah, know and that people that's, say that's, that all the time. We're all phrase. Bentleys. We're all Bentleys. Is that your new? Like, yeah, say it louder. It'll make it true. <laughs> inspirational. Uh, all, I had to go. Truth be told, Somehow. I had to go. I you know I had that skin cancer here. Yeah. And it was not healing properly, so I need to go and get an injection there. Mm -hmm. every like three months so that it uh eventually it, it'll do it on its own right. but it, it so it doesn't pucker right they have to and i had to bring oliver with me to the thing and so uh to get a shot in your face is jarring to a child and why was he on your lap while this procedure was taking place <laughs> i saw that movie fearless and i keep it i, I buckled him Put in nice yeah. <laughs> and uh so he was so the woman the nurse says to me uh, do you want him to leave the room? Yes. We, we put this, and I said, he'll be okay. He'll just look Why? away. And then she, uh, and I said, I go, do you think he should leave so he you know, doesn't know daddy's getting some work done? And then she goes, oh, darling, we're all Bentleys. We just need maintenance. <laughs> nice. I was like, I love it. Uh, hey, guys, Matt here with some dates for you. Jimmy Pardo is going to be the, at the Improv in Hollywood on August 17th. You can get tickets at jimmypardo.com. He's also been on a bunch of other podcasts recently. Go uh, check out April Richardson's show, uh, Go Bayside. That is a podcast dedicated to the Saved by the Bell series from the 90s. Uh, listen to Jimmy talk about that show. He was just on the Todd Glass show. Had a great time with our old friend Todd. And uh, if you want to hear something a little more serious, uh, the After Party Pod with Anna David uh, is Jimmy talking about addiction. So go check that out and enjoy. To see this whole episode or for more great content with comedian Jimmy Pardo, head over to podcast.com. Don't forget to share, rate, and subscribe.